Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am introducing to you one of the coolest projects I've probably ever done on this channel. Definitely up there with the Ethical Hacker EDC. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you guys do because it was an awesome series. Definitely check it out. But um, over the past week, I have been basically building and developing a cybersecurity lab, right? An area where I can do a bunch of hacking tasks. I can have my own local network. I have like Wi-Fi auditing tools. I have a monitor for my server, a bunch of other stuff. It's really cool. So now I can easily be able to test different Hack5 gear, malware, um, programs, any hosting for general, even, even for programming, not even just hacking, um, but just so many cool features. I can now do like um, different scans on my server so I'm not like slowing down my computer when I'm recording I can do a bunch of other stuff so let me actually show you guys how we did this but first let me show you how we got there so day one so day one was pretty easy all we had to do was kind of just plan out everything that we wanted to do Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very different type of video. This is the building a cybersecurity home lab video. Now I've been wanting to do this project for a while, but I never really got fully around to it. I started a little bit and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I kind of just took everything down and we're going to redo it from scratch, right? We're going to have a server here, we're going to have some uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 and the Tetra up here. We're going to have our own private little network in here. And then with that network, we can also have like different tools to practice on that network and stuff it's going to be pretty cool so hopefully you guys enjoy this something you're kind of interested in, i hope and uh let's just jump into it right for all the projects i do i try to plan them out before i start them so that way i'm not getting lost or confused or don't really have an idea of where i'm going i always have an idea where i'm going because i made that plan if it's a software based project, I'm probably going to be typing it out somewhere on like Obsidian or OneNote. And if it's more of a hardware based project, I'll usually have it in the notebook and kind of write out the plan. So in the plan I made for this project, you can kind of see two boxes, a big blue box and a big red box. The big blue box is the dresser and that's where most of the main components are going to be. And the big red box is like the server where the server is going to be. And um, the servers, that red box is a shelf where the server sits on and the blue box is like this big dresser. Um, the three squares on the top are, the first one on the top left is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. The one on the far right is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra. And the box in the middle is just gonna be a box that's gonna hold a bunch of Hack5 gear, ethernet, cable, whatever we need. Um, the rectangle towards the bottom left is just an ethernet switch that we're going to be using to kind of have our local network on and the green just represents where the power is going and that little box in the top left is just an outlet all right that was pretty much it for day one so day two hey hackers blue cosmo from ccs here and today we are finally starting the cybersecurity lab. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically gonna be a station where we can do a bunch of hacking stuff. We're gonna have Wi-Fi auditing tools like the Wi-Fi Pineapple. We're gonna have a hacking server. And because we're gonna have our own like local network set up in here, we can practice on other tools like the Packet Squirrel, Plunderbug, Land Turtle, all these other cool things. So it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be dope. I already set up some stuff here, but I haven't, fully deep or fully dived into it because it's kind of when you guys experience it with me so if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video it'd be much appreciated day two was more of the actual building process we actually kind of started assembling the looks of everything and how we're going to make the cybersecurity lab an actual cybersecurity lab we set up the ethernet cables for our wi-fi pineapples we actually unboxed the, unboxed the wi-fi pineapples put them together a um, bunch of other cool stuff day three i got a monitor um yeah i wasn't expecting it but it just magically appeared in my room and uh <laughs> 
uh, I decided to apply it to the server so that way we could see more information coming from the server. But because I got this monitor, I had to kind of reconfigure the setup of how the sub was originally going to be, which is, there's nothing wrong with it. It actually looks better now. So we just had to kind of move some stuff around and put the monitor there. And then the same day, we actually set up the server. Uh, the server um, is running Ubuntu Server 2020.4. So now that you guys are all caught up of days one through four, what we've done, how we built everything, you guys can finally see the Cybersecurity Home Lab. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I worked really hard over the past week on it. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy the videos coming out in the future because of this lab. I can now easily, you know, work on a shark jack or work on different ethernet or um, like ethernet hardware tools or Wi-Fi auditing tools. I now have a full work, like a good server. <laughs> Uh, where I can run different enumeration or scanning, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Um, look forward to those videos in the future. Now that I have this set up, I can do tutorials on much more Hack5 gear than I was able to before. So if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know in the comment below. But other than that, that's going to be it. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.